Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic test update video. Now they recently released another new test update for the game and it added a bunch of cool things. Just a note before we get into it though guys, this is a test update and is not completely in the game quite yet. If you wanted to test it out yourself, you have to go into the Scrap Mechanic properties on the Steam Library and enable it in the betas option. So here we are at my old house that I built for the last update with the dynamic lighting here. We're going to head into the house, we're going to check out some of the new things. They also added a bunch more tweaks to the already existing items, but before we get into that, we are going to check out some of the new objects. So before we get into those, we got to make sure we turn on all the lights because I turned them off. Bam, and there we go. So first thing, let's head into the living room here, and you guys will notice these are actually mugs. These were added into the game by request from fans of Scrap Mechanic. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this logo is, but I'm assuming that's the FarmBot logo. Some type of company or industry logo. Really cool though. Pretty simple. It doesn't actually have a use yet. But anyways, let's head back here. There's another cup here. These can be paintable, obviously. And back here, guys. This is one of my favorite new objects from this update. Let's head into the bathroom. And look at this guys, we now have a complete bathroom. We have a bathtub here and that means our bathroom is complete. All we need really is a mirror and I can see them adding a mirror for like character customization. Maybe, I don't know. That would be really cool though to have a actual mirror for reflections, but that would be a little more difficult to add. But anyways, let's hop into the bathtub here and we'll get a cool little effect. There we go guys, we're having a little bubble bath. We're having a little bubble bath. That is amazing. So there we go. Our bathroom is complete. The bubbles will dissipate once we're out. And there we go. That's really exciting. I made a little holder here for a mug because <laughs> it's a bathroom. And people usually have like a cup or something beside their sink for brushing their teeth. But there we go. Oh, I don't know what that was. But anyways, that's pretty much all of the new objects, but we're going to head back out here and we're going to check out some of the other things added to this test update. So the next thing they added was actually adding a set of hotbars that we can cycle through. Look at this, guys. Look at the bottom there. We have three different hotbars we could cycle through by pressing Alt and the number, as well as pressing Alt and Q. But anyways, the next thing they added is pretty cool. We're going to build a little platform here, a, um, I guess a five by whatever size platform. We'll put, place these like this. We'll wire a button to it. And there we go, guys. There's the little vehicle I made to test this out. So we're going to hop in here. We're going to boost up and watch when we boost up, guys. Look at the ground. There's a lot of dust here. A dust is getting thrown up from the thrust. That's not what I was actually trying to show, but that is, that is really cool too. We're going to boost these up a little more. Here we go. Let's try this. There we go. Do you see that, guys? Look at this. There's lighting actually on the ground when you thrust. All right, so we're going to get up into the sky. And you guys will see something. Notice the camera. It actually follows the vehicle. That has been long requested because aircraft-based vehicles are really hard to fly with the camera just staying in the same position that you had it before. So look at this. That is really handy, guys. That is awesome. Now, this isn't the best vehicle to test this out on, so <laughs> I'm going to kind of um, get this to work a little better. There we go. All right, so we'll move forward. And now the camera should follow it. Look at that. That's awesome. That is really cool. All right. Oh, there's my old thing I tried building. But anyways, guys, here we are in the night mod. Let's see what the thrusters look like in the dark. So we're going to initiate the thrusters. And here we are. Look at that. And that is actually really awesome. That is so cool. You would think there would be a lot more light, though. But I guess not. That looks cool, though. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this little test branch video. I will be doing more of these videos in the future if you do enjoy me showing some updates. I can see this being more for people who follow the development of Scrap Mechanic. But hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Anyways, I got a lot more Scrap Mechanic videos planned 
for the future. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.